walleye to start us out. I don't want to net them. I got three treble hooks on a shadow wrap deep. Nice way to start us out. Up here in northwestern Ontario, back at one of my favorite places. I've been going here since the 90s. Slippery Winds Wilderness Lodge. And this is just a chunk walleye to start us out and open the segment. Probably about a 20 incher. Real nice fish. We'll let them go because we're going to catch lots up here in Ontario. You know, we were so anxious to get back to Ontario. It's only about two weeks after I saw it. It was the late spring this year. We got 55 degree water on the main lake today, and we have found 57 up here in some of the north end shallower bays. We got some weed growth starting. A chunk. Trolling crankbaits. There we go, nice walleye. Beautiful, about 19 incher. Perfect shore lunch. Oh, it's fun. All right, now I can cast it while I see. Throwing out an X wrap and just mewing it in steady, just like we were trolling it. Bump. Seems like they're liking this white, you know, it's pretty clear water up here. Instead of trolling, I'm casting a jerk bait and just reeling it in steady, and I catch the biggest walleye of the morning right there. Actually, he's he's almost 21. Chunky walleyes, considering they just got done with the spawn, they are they are healthy. Catching some dandy pike this morning mixed in with these nice walleyes. This is a chunky one here, man. <laughs> You know, there's so many big muskies in Yoke Lake, you won't run into a whole lot of 40 inch northerns. They are in here, but a lot of them are, you know, six to 12 pounds. This is a chunky guy here, man. Look at, look at that jerk bait. He just T-boned it. It is a medium heavy power. I typically don't bring a lot of medium lights up to Canada, either medium power, seven footers, or medium heavy, some with fast action, some extra fast. But you got to be able to have a, enough backbone to deal with some of the bigger fish you get up here in Canada. And just casting and retrieving that X-Wrap. There we go. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> nice pike here. He's probably in here eating some of those little walleyes. Slow the momentum of the boat down. Staying down, probably a walleye. A walleye's just bury. Another one on that shadow wrap. It's a great jerk bait, but it's fun to troll it too. And it, you know, there's a lot of Cisco in here. It imitates them. And then during your stay, they'll always do a shore dinner for the entire group of guests that's there during that week. Perfect fish for that, but we're catching so many, we'll let them go and keep just a couple right before we eat. So one of the cool things about Slippery Winds, six species, six different lakes. The main lake is Yolk Lake, and that's got all six species. Walleye, northern, muskie, largemouth and smallmouth bass, and lake trout. There's also five portage lakes. Some of them have tons of lake trout in them. Others have largemouth and smallmouth bass in good numbers. And then Sullivan Lake is a really good uh, northern pike lake. Talk about the variety in fishing and the fact that you can explore different lakes throughout your, your fishing vacation. It's a pretty cool deal at Slippery Winds. Oh, geez, as soon as it gets in the water. Oh, this is good fish here. Another walleye on that number seven shad wrap. Chunky one too, good size one, fat. Look at how golden they are. Just beautiful fish here. Oh, that's a nice one there, man. Pretty fish. Wow. Let me take a minute and tell you about Slippery Winds Wilderness Lodge. You fly out of Fort Francis, Ontario. It's only about a 15 minute float plane ride. Affordable package, American plan dining. So you'll have all your meals at the lodge or out on the lake if you do shore lunch. You'll stay in comfortable modern cabins with hot and cold running water, screened in porches, and housekeeping services provided. You'll fish from 16 foot boats with 15 horse outboards at the main lodge. The outpost lakes have nine nine outboards on them. Something that's really cool at Slippery Winds is you're always welcome to take the boat out after dinner as well, and the evening bite can be really good. Again, super affordable flying fishing, awesome multi-species destination, Slippery Winds Wilderness Resort. Man, this is like dead weight. It's 
staying down, just buried the rod. Real nice walleye, real nice walleye. See the bigger ones, maybe this calmer conditions like this, they're waiting for the evening to feed. Trolled out just a little bit deeper, put on that ghost shiner and boom, right at the end of the day. Beautiful walleye to end it right there. What a great day of fishing. I mean, my arm hurts from catching so many. Just an awesome time up here. If you'd like to experience Northwest Ontario, catch lots and lots of fish in six species on six different lakes, it's slipperywinds.com. That's the way we're gonna wrap her up today. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.